Hello, my name is Mark Willis and I'm the pastor for Merriam Christian Church. We wanted to bring you another midweek prayer meditation, an opportunity for you to pause in the middle of your week and just spend a few minutes dwelling in the Word of God, meditating on God's presence with you, that it might remind you today and throughout the rest of this week that God is with you on this journey. So let's get ourselves ready for a time of meditation. Find a, a comfortable chair to sit in, one where your feet can be firmly on the floor, and just try to sit relaxed. I like this chair because I can just let my arms sit at my sides. And Let's take a couple moments and just focus on our breathing. Just, just feel that natural rhythm, breathing in, and breathing out. In and out. As we sit here and focus on our breathing, let's take a couple deep cleansing breaths. Deep, breathe in deeply and then exhale through your mouth. Let's do that a couple more times. Just feel that breath of God coming in and filling up your lungs. And as you exhale, I just want you to exhale all the stress and struggle that you've had today or you've had this week. Just go ahead and exhale that out right now and let your mind be at rest as we focus on God's Word from Psalm 107. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those He redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to an inhabited town. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way until they reached an inhabited town. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. For he satisfies the thirsty, and the hungry he fills with good things. Some sat in darkness and in gloom, prisoners in misery and in irons, for they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Their hearts were bowed down with hard labor. They fell down with no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and gloom and broke their bonds asunder. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. For he shatters the doors of bronze and cuts in two the bars of iron. Some were sick through their sinful ways. And because of their iniquities endured affliction, they loathed any kind of food and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. And let them offer thanksgiving sacrifices and tell of his deeds with songs of joy. Let those who are wise give heed to these things and consider the steadfast love of the Lord. If you haven't already, go ahead and close your eyes. And as you again, just focus on your breathing, taking nice, normal breaths. Let's go to God in a time of prayer. Almighty God, we come before you today 
to spend but a moment in your word. May this word bless us and keep us. May it inspire us and motivate us. May it fill us and send us. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for that steadfast love that comes to us when we are brought low, when we are sick or alone or hurting or struggling. We are so thankful for your presence on our path. We ask you now, Lord, to bless us, to watch over us, and to walk with us through the rest of this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and take another nice deep cleansing breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. If you haven't already, go ahead and slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining us for this moment of prayerful meditation. I hope that it's a blessing to your week. God bless and stay safe.